Let's go pick up Delilah and visit the library. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, where's Delilah? In the library. Oh, that's right. We left her in the library for a while, didn't we? Yes. We also have to report back to Shakespeare. Let him know that people are trying to kill him. Yes. Oh, God. That's important. Also, his bodyguard is dead. Is his bodyguard dead? Uh, we didn't see the body, so I... it, it's left open-ended in case there's ever a Novak Library 2. Yes. Hey, Six. You're back. We expected you a while ago. Where's Reader? The only thing he'll be reading is his tombstone! The only- no, the only thing he'll be reading is the, uh, ink stamp they put on the pine boards that they made his coffin out of. Ah. What are you talking about? I met all your old friends, Aristotle, or Ovid, Wells, you know, all those guys. We had a wonderful talk. They duct Oh wait, no we didn't! Aristotle was in the attic! We were told- she told us to go take care of Aristotle in the attic and we completely forgot about him! Oh, whoops. They killed the reader? That son of a bitch, Aristotle. I am sorry. I had no idea it was a trap. Reader was a good man. And a better friend. How did you get out? What about... Shelly? Was she there? Oh, you know Shelly. She was there. She's fine. The rest of them are all dead. And they said some things. And they duct taped kaleidoscopes to my eyes. I don't know what they told you. I imagine it was all true. Uh, actually, you know what? We might need to go back and do it because apparently Aristotle was supposed to tell us some stuff. Okay, let's go kill Aristotle! Yeah, we're gonna have to go do that. We'll be right back. I don't know where that is. Where did we wake up? Where could it oh, possibly have boy. been? Oh, boy. I bet you I can find it. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no! This was incorrect! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, god damn. All right. <sighs> like, I never particularly enjoyed flying through non-Euclidean space. Can we not do that anymore? Non-Euclidean space is the most exciting kind of space. I know it's very exciting, but also it makes me get nosebleeds. It's okay. It's a non-Euclidean I don't like being both dead and alive at the same time. I don't like being Schrodinger's Zack. <laughs> just, I'm just throwing this out, out there. 347 rounds is not enough for a, uh... Huh! I haven't seen one of those in a while. The assault rifles were really common in Fallout 3, but oh my god, it's even- it's You can't ADS, it is the one from Fallout 3. Yeah. Oh my god, oh god, I just realized how much is fucking wrong about this poor G3, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> alright, alright, I'm, I'm sorry, we're getting another gun rant here. There is so much stuff wrong about this gun. The handguard- Doesn't have enough holes in it. Is oval, for some reason, and doesn't actually line up with where the receiver is. The cocking tube doesn't line up with where the receiver is. If you know anything about firearms, you see this thing above the barrel and you think, oh, gas tube. This is not a gas tube on the G3. That is the tube for the cocking handle, actually. Oh, ooh. Because the G3, the G3 doesn't actually have a gas system. This handguard is based off of the original G3 handguard. It's a very slim, streamlined handguard, basically identical to the one that was on the Setme, which is what the G3 is based off of. That's, that's oval shaped for some reason. I don't know why it's oval shaped. It's a bit elongated, yes. Yeah. The magazine actually looks about as right as you could get it. Interestingly, you see those two holes that are in the stock? Yeah. Do you know what those two holes are for? Speed. No, those two holes are for those two pins right there. Because those pins are not captive, so you take the pins out and then you put them into the stock so you don't lose them. Oh, they're pin holding holes. Yep. The rear sight has a one. on That, that line right there is a one, and you can see this big V notch that's in there. Mm -hmm. That is actually correct. But they didn't actually put it where you would use it, because so this is this is what's called a diopter sight. It's got three holes and then that notch in it. Mm -hmm. Each one of the holes is for like different distances, and the, the farther away the distance is, the smaller the hole is. Right. But they didn't actually put any of the other holes in there. <laughs> just one so hole. So it's just got one V notch on the side, which isn't pointed the direction the sight would be. The selector lever is. Way far forward. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's also tiny. I don't know why they made the selector lever so tiny and moved it so far forward. It should be directly above the pistol grip, basically, so your thumb can rest on it. Right. Um, Maybe the person who got this firearm had a genetic deformity that gave him the super long thumbs, and that was comfortable for him. Maybe. The, the charging handle, interestingly, they actually skeletonized the charging handle. Which is something they did on the later ones, but not the earlier ones, I think. I could be wrong. I might be getting that backwards. Hmm. 
but for some reason, it's angled down at like a 45 when it should be up at like a 30 degree angle. It's, I, I don't know why the charging handle is like, like pointed down like that. That doesn't make any sense. The flash header looks weird. Interestingly, I believe the selector was also on semi-auto. But which it's this full is auto. On, which this is on full auto. Mm, yes. There's no hole in the sight. It's too narrow. It's, uh, Obviously, maybe that's why you're not aiming down sights, because you ain't got good Oh, yeah, because I, I don't have sights to use. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. We filled in the back of it because you're supposed to use the Binden aiming concept. We filled in the sights with cement. Yeah, we filled in the back of it because you're supposed to use the Binden aiming concept. Just keep both eyes open and your brain will superimpose the image. <laughs> I wish I could shoot a G3 that on full auto that stable. Holy shit. Got more climb. Oh, what? You've drawn their attention. Who? who I've drawn someone's ire. Ah, ah, that's. How do I even tell up. what I'm aiming at? It's just like shooting a real G3 on full auto. Die, profligate! What? You didn't bring any friends? Nope. <laughs> I almost just gunned down Buddy Chicken. <laughs> I guess this isn't the attic. This is the second floor. Is there a way to get into the attic? I don't, oh, there it is. Okay. You are the courier, I presume. I have gone by that name, among other things. We're not going to list them all. Had I known I had a celebrity in the basement, things may have gone differently. Nice mustache and goatee. How did Shakespeare get mixed up with you? Kind of felt like helping build a library. <laughs> Shakespeare and his books. That's why we got you and that Merc. You were helping him get books? Speaking of... Yeah, where is Reader? He was a thorn in my side. If you want to see him, you might want to bring a bucket to that bookmobile. Bucket to the bookmobile? Because he turned him into goop. Uh, wait. Oh, you guys have laser weaponry. So what, you want me to kill you? You know, I don't know. Until this moment, I didn't think so. I was born before the war. Do you know how old that makes me? Over 200. I've seen so many things. I survived the radiation just to become this. I had a good life. Can you imagine what it's like to get out of bed to find that your nose is still on the pillow? Ew, gross! The ears were bad, but the nose... <sighs> you just can't ignore that. That's pretty gross. Smoothkins like you. You came out of your holes and hunted us like animals. Like monsters from old movies. Uh-huh. That's another thing. I've seen movies in a theater. <laughs> I used a car. I had a TV. I went to work. Paid bills. I went to school. Okay. And you treat us like monsters. <laughs> no wonder we wanted revenge. All right. Barrels are a thing, too, so that, that's probably why they were doing that. Anyway, when Shakespeare came to me, suggested we exact our revenge and get paid at the same time, it sounded like a good idea. Oh my goodness, Shakespeare came to you first. Uh, is it Heather, is that the girl's name? Which one? The, oh, Helen. Helen, Helen's the daughter of one of the people that Shakespeare killed. You you think- I'm, call, I'm just calling it right now. You thought you knew him, didn't you? No. That's okay. So did I at one time. I'll say this for all Shakes. I've never seen anyone that hated smooth skins more. He delighted in scaring the hell out of them before they died. Well, he must have turned over a new leaf because he's not doing that anymore. Yeah, I know he might be a little creepy, but he's a good guy. He raised that little girl. Yeah, well, he did go nuts. We were raiding a ranch north of Vegas. See, how did that... Uh, I called we it. We killed the entire family. I called it. We're picking through the spoils. Suddenly, Shakespeare went crazy. He killed Doyle and Poe. Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle, I ground Poe. Last any of us saw of him, he escaped with something. Something he didn't want to share. I always figured it was the first edition of some book. We all thought he snapped. It wouldn't be the first. We had already lost Eddie. That's not the Shakespeare I know! No, that is the Shakespeare I know. So, Courier, I hear you are hard to kill. So am I. Let us see who's going to walk out this room. Okay. Lay down your arms. You don't have to do it this way. Okay, I guess you don't have to do it this way. You killed them. Yeah. Yeah. I said I was going to. 
Everyone. Aristotle, too. We just had to double back. Good. Now will you tell me where Shakespeare is? He's in Novak. Thank you. I guess this is your place now. All you have to do is fix the pump in the basement. I don't know much about it, but that idiot Homer used to fix it, so it can't be too hard. Place is kind of a dump. Don't know if we'll stay. Yeah. Did you hear what Aristotle said? I don't know. That's fine. I don't care. Goodbye. See you around. Also, come visit the Novak Library. Yeah, come to the Novak Library. If you want a bunch of C4, you can take your revenge on, uh, on Shakespeare. Was she wronged by Shakespeare? I don't know. I have no idea. Delilah, don't stand in the furniture. It's rude. Attack of the Lunch Ladies, based on actual events. Oh, dang, it's actual one right there. Nice. Building with dirt. Oh, yeah, look, there's all the, the fun books that we had to find for him. Yeah. Uh, all right. Hey, buddy, good news. Hey. How did you get out? What about Shelly? Was she there? Shelly was there. She's totally fine. The rest of them are all dead. They said some things. I want the truth. The truth. Is that all? Like, it's a simple common thing. Yeah, it is. I don't know what they told you. I imagine it was all true. Yeah, but Shakespeare, killing families, how can you excuse that? It makes you sound like a monster! I'm not going to try to explain my motivation for past behavior. I won't go into what it was like to survive the war and live through the change. You can't understand the betrayal. When you smooth skin showed up, the friends lost a blind hatred. I'm not looking for your sympathy or approval. You won't get it. What you need to understand is I'm not that Shakespeare anymore. He died the same day I was born, 20 years ago. Okay. I suppose you haven't been overtly racist to our face. Aristotle said you killed Helen's whole family. Again, all true. But when I lifted that blanket, I saw that little face. Those soulful, wise eyes, my world shattered. Great, okay. I was changed instantly and forever. There is no way you can know what a Grinch is. But just like his, my heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> I... She saved my life. All right. And she paid dearly for it. I had to protect her. Poe and Doyle were curious about what I had. I did what I did and made my escape. I betrayed my friends and started anew. Helen became my world. I devoted my entire existence to her. She knows none of this. No one does. But me. And now you. I don't know how you could look at Helen every day knowing what you did. It has to be the hardest thing I've ever done. When you consider who I am, that's saying a lot. A thousand times I thought about telling her. The burden has been crushing me. You're not going to improve anything, though. But I just can't do it. I look into those eyes and I, I just can't. I've never told anyone. Reader couldn't handle it. Just telling you, telling someone, has lifted away from my shoulders. I felt you could take it. Am I wrong? Why did you have to share the I don't want to have to share a burden. You, Burdens are stupid. You didn't have to tell us the truth. You could have kept it to yourself. Yeah, you could have just shut up and left it alone. I don't care. Whatever you decide will be what fate has chosen for us. Oh, for fuck's sake. We'll deal with it. Now go say hello to Helen. She's been worried. When she asks about Reader, tell her. She can't talk. Tell her I'll be down in a little while to talk well, to maybe her. Maybe she'll start using hand signals. I need a few minutes to prepare myself. Well, I'm ungrateful for your honesty. Uh, I'm actually pretty pissed about it. You could have just lied and not told me anything. <laughs> also, you've apparently been killing smooth skins for what, 190 years and only recently decided to go on the, the straight and narrow? Yeah. You wanted the truth. I said, I guess I did say that I wanted the we truth. We didn't actually want the truth. We were being polite. Yeah. All right, I, just, I deserve that one. Put that paperwork down. Everybody gets one. Ow! <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to tell Helen. I don't care. 
Because, like, honestly, honestly, let's think about this for just a second. Okay. If you were raised by someone who fully admitted that they were not your your biological parents, and then one day they were like, oh, by the way, I killed your entire biological family. I used to be a vicious murderer, and then I killed your entire biological family, and little baby you made me feel so bad that I changed my mind and vowed never to kill again. I don't want any of that information. <laughs> I don't want any of that. Now I'm going to go drink myself to death. I'm going to pretend this conversation never happened. Yeah, exactly. Like, that is some eldritch knowledge that I don't want inside my head. Where's Delilah? Oh, Helen. Helen. Hey, person. there is Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi, hi. How's it going? She's bursting with enthusiasm and exuberance. Wow, so enthusiastic. So what are we going to do? I'm not telling her. Things were rough out there. Reader has gone to visit... Uh, Uncle Eddie, and they'll be staying together for a long, long time. Yes! Uh, she, Reader and Uncle Eddie are going to be best friends now. They're keeping each other... Cut. They're secretly gay lovers. They've eloped and run away. They have... You know what? And honestly, I'm I'm really happy for the two of them that they can find love in this fucked up world. We uh, we're, we sent them a, a gift basket. That's what you do for people that are eloped, right? I don't know. How is she? What happened? Why is your suit made of the most reflective... Material. It's, it's like, it, is your suit just made of retro reflectors, my guy? You could put that suit on the surface of the moon and bounce lasers off it. That's how reflective it is. I didn't tell her. It seemed pointless to... Seemed... It seemed... It seemed pointless to hurt her more. You didn't? And you never will? No. Thank you. I know I left it up to you, but man, I was hoping you wouldn't. I feel like you set me free. I don't want to emotionally scar her even more than she already is. Well, just because we didn't tell her now doesn't mean we won't in the future. This is primo blackmail material. We want free Ooh. access to this library for Yeah, life. I, I, want, I want no more. I want to be able to print as many pages on the printer as I want. You'll see that you made the right choice. Thank you again. Yeah, you're welcome. Reader had a photo that I'd like to get for Helen. I'll give you the key. And location of our bunker by the crates. Okay. Can you get it? Yeah, I can go do that. It'll be worth it. That would give me some time with Helen. I need to comfort her about Reader. I need to start to face the truth with her, too. Oh, we lied to her about Very Reader. gently. Don't, don't tell her the truth about Reader. We lied about that. Okay, I'll be back. Thanks, Six. The bunker! Where are we going? Once again, this dick did not... Give us a waypoint. Great. Where the hell is the bunker? Oh, you bastard. There. Right there, near Crescent Canyon East. Right there. Oh. Where is this bunker? Probably across this rickety ass bridge. I. Th th this whole thing is. Sketchy. Okay, so I, I'm just I'm just throwing this one out here. Can I can I do something really quick? This is like a suspension bridge, yes? <laughs> See how it's a suspension bridge? Uh, yes. What is this anchored to? Invisible supports! Aha, uh -huh. okay. I just, I, I'm sorry, I know. I'm just, we're, we're moving on, we're moving on. Yep, yep. But I saw it and had to address it. Fair enough. Um. This is, uh. Okay, maybe we have to go. Maybe that's. Um. Not, perhaps this isn't where we're supposed to be going? Down there. Down there! That's where we're going. That's... I, I don't know how we're getting down there, but we have to go down there. Right, that bridge goes to a mod we played like three years ago, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, we might be able to find some Nevada agave around here. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. More importantly, we found- Oh, Bob there Parker. was like a- there's like an elevator. Yeah, you should have taken that. Oh, that's stupid. Oh my god. That's silly. That's just <laughs> silly. That's just silly. All right, in the bunker. Into Shakespeare's bunker. I think it's gonna be filled with feral goop. That gave me some weird cognitive dissonance. The 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 wall being like the wrong like at that slanted. Width. Like I was so I I was like, did I walk in here like at a downward angle? What's going on? <laughs> uh, Welcome back, reader. Reader, I have a progress report for you. Bless this. I was map. successful in my endeavor to remove the mole rat infestation from the septic system. Gross. As per your instruction. I did not harm a hair on their ugly little heads. <laughs> Thanks. I performed my routine maintenance, technical and otherwise, and now running at optimal efficiency. Is Reader married to this robot? <laughs> Thank you for the strawberry scented grease. <laughs> the hell is this place? The facility is at 85% efficiency, 
and will remain so until the water chip is replaced. Uh, Estimated time until failure, 1,025 years. Uh, I'm here for re uh, my picture. He's reader. My circuits have grown accustomed to the presence of biological organisms. and find existence less stimulating in their absence. Will you be staying? I got no, I gotta go do some stuff. Please consider all possibilities before initiating any actions. Your continued respiration is integral to the functional harmony of this unit. What? Be careful, sweetie. <laughs> sweetie. What? Oh! Was Reader married to this robot? Also, I thought this was a Shakespeare's bunker. Apparently, it's Reader's. Reader's sentimental photo. What is it of? I can't tell. Oh. Uh, wow, yeah, that's a sentimental photo of some brown texture. Okay, we got it. Great. What a what a fun little bunker this is. So if we didn't want to live in that house in a cave, we could live in this house in a bunker. In yeah. A cave. Oh, that's kind of neat. That like all these little. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a, it's a modern library where you can check out other things besides books. You know, toys, Ooh. And board games. Ooh. Hey. Sunglasses apparently. Six. Did you find the bunker all right? Yeah, I found it. What the hell's with that robot? Oh, Roberta. I forgot about her. She somehow became very attached to Reader. You didn't tell her you're not him, did you? I don't know what she'd do. What do you think she would do, walk off a cliff? That was a great, safe place to live. I wanted to stay, but a library wouldn't work there. Thank you for getting this stuff. Uh, the hell is that place? Or was that place? I couldn't tell you. I tried to figure it out. All I was able to decipher were the heating controls. Whatever it was intended for, I don't know. It makes a nice indoor greenhouse, though. You seem awfully pleased with yourself for a man that's been a murderer for 200 years. Yeah, look around. The place is doing great. The shelves are stocked, and the people love it. I'd say we're a success. And Shelly's here. I don't have any more work for you. I hope that doesn't mean we won't see you anymore. I still have magazines. Helen still cuts hair. If you're thirsty or hungry or tired, you can always stop here. If you just want to see us, stop in. Because six, you are family. Yeah, yeah. Magazines I, are nice. You got skill books, yeah, though? I, did, I don't trust any employer that's like, we're a family. I mean every word. You should go talk to Helen and Shelly. I know Shelly has something for you. Oh? I'll see ya. I go to see Shelly and she just stabs me in the gut. <laughs> there she is! Hey! Well, well, well. If it isn't my knight in dusty armor. I guess I should have expected to see you here. I owe that to you. Who knows how long we would have kept the truth from me if you hadn't showed up. I want you to have this. I uh, thank you. Stay safe. Okay. Great. Oh boy, a, a, key. a key to nostalgia, <laughs> the, the shortcut, so what? I don't have to go through like 12 loading zones to get to it. I guess so, yeah. And there she is, yay! Hey. Uh, I got Reader's stuff, here's his picture. She begins to sob uncontrollably. <laughs> I didn't know him, but he must have been a good man to mean that much to you. She, she cries and cries and cries. <laughs> Snot starts pouring out of her nose. Because she's crying. It's like the gross crying where, like, there's just way too much mucus and too many tears. And, like, your face gets all red and puffy. <laughs> yep. Uh, the Shakespeare's got more of his stuff if you want to be reminded of it. All A right. giant booger comes out of her nose. <laughs> she craps herself out of grief. <laughs> the courier. The catalyst. Oh, Six. Uh, hello. Delilah. Goodbye, Lai. Seeing commotion at the old train station, curiosity peaked. There was only one thing to do. Blow up the train station. Go in. Inside, a cantankerous old ghoul who calls himself Shakespeare was trying to start a library of all things. And he succeeded. Maybe it was pity. Maybe it was the promise of reward. Or maybe it was just boredom. But the courier decided to help. It all started off simple enough. He found a book by a toilet. Get a book from this dirty place, or that dangerous place. It actually was a porno mag. Nothing new or unusual. 
Are you just repeating? Meeting reader was an exercise in tension. Not everyone likes six, it seems. Yeah, we know. We were there. Yeah. We lived this. I, I did all this. You don't have Helen to. Helen was something else entirely. Are you dictating this? Are you putting this in a book? She intrigued the courier instantly upon their meeting. Not really. No. Her silent communication and apparent vulnerability drew six in. No, it didn't. But just how vulnerable was she? Shakespeare was still looking for books, but there were hints that something else was happening. Oh yeah, there's that guy. After retrieving a stolen book, a strange ghoul revealed himself. Vonnegut, we killed him. The courier was beginning to wonder where it would all lead. Look, the actual cursor got it. <laughs> it's... Another book, but so much more. And he was picking Shakespeare the scabs on his finger when the courier the came by. Six showed mercy and unknowingly made an inroad with the stoic merc, Reader. The crazy old hermit had the next book. Look, if you had actually installed like a body slider mod, then he would have been properly no naked. Would have had a super erect seven inch penis. Oh, good lord. Reader and Six went to the old book mobile. It was a trap. Yeah, you were not, we were there. Six's suspicions were confirmed. The gang's leader revealed many unsuspected facets of Shakespeare's past. Deciding not to tell Helen may have felt like a betrayal, but it allowed life to continue. I, yeah. I love life! Shakespeare seems to genuinely love her, and causing her any more pain was unnecessary. Yeah, we didn't want to do that. Six chose the merciful route again. Shelley arrived at the library. Shakespeare is happy. Helen has taken her place as a strong, confident young woman. Who, who refuses to leave the basement. Even Six has been adopted. This is starting to look like a happy ending. The end. The end. We did it. We, oh, buddy chicken. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, buddy chicken. <laughs> Do a quick dance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? That's fine. Buddy Chicken, you have cemented your place as the greatest dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say to, uh, upon the completion of this mod. Um... Shakespeare! Shakespeare, we talked to your old work crew, and they said that you're a bad guy. And Shakespeare responded, I wouldn't read too much into this. Ah! That sounds like a tall tale to me. No, we know it's true. We read between the lines. Ah! And then he's like, Ah, but did you look at the fine print? Ah! Ah! And we said, You might have a bunch of books, but I can tell you got no spine! Ah! And then, and then he was like, Well, don't be too quick to judge a book by its cover. And I responded, I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! Because books are made out of wood pulp. It's made out of paper, which is made out of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit of a stretch for that one. Yeah, but it's it, a little bit. But little as long bit. as no one draws attention to it, we can keep it going. Okay, um, and then and then I said, well, I'm gonna have to check out... Okay, Shakespeare, we're gonna let you live, but we're, we're keeping an eye on you. You've been bookmarked for death. Ah! Uh, I hate this. I'm going to bed. Dewey Decimal System! <laughs> Inside, a cantankerous old ghoul calls himself Shakespeare was trying to start a library. We hate you, Shakespeare! Ah! Ah! You suck! Ah! You, ah boo, Shakespeare! <laughs> oh. Oh, you broke it! <laughs> you actually broke it! Oh, God! What the fuck? Hell's Martin Purvis? I, I'm gonna get the reference, but yeah, why is Martin Purvis here? What the f- <laughs> I killed- well, All right. You killed the narrator! <laughs>